हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल Shireen and I'm joining you from our Dubai office. Today I'm going to discuss about labor market impact assessment. Now you must have heard this term. If you are talking about Canadian immigration, then you must must have heard the term of LMIA. It is one of the most common things around in the market related to immigration into Canada. Now why do people either discuss LMIA? buy LMIA, consider what is LMIA, are in the market to discuss why LMIA is there, don't know, have no idea about LMIA. So today after watching by the end of this video, you will be able to answer all those questions because I'm going to go dive into deep details of this labor market impact assessment application. Now what is LMIA is the first point I'm going to cover. The LMIA is basically a labor market impact assessment. It is done by ESDC, which is the Economic Social Development Council of Canada and it comes under Service Canada. Service Canada is just like a government body. Now what ESDC does is it is going to go and see that why the person needs to hire, why the company needs to hire a foreign employee. For example, uh, Deloitte Canada wants to hire talent from India for example and they are unable to get that same person within Canada. Now what is the process of calling that foreign worker to Canada? Now remember Deloitte Canada is a very big company. The, it's not necessary for the company to be very big. I'm going to come to later stage at a later stage on this topic also that what are the documentation needed for a high wage LMIA and how this is going to be very beneficial to you. Uh, even to a normal layman watching this video okay so for example Deloitte Canada wants to hire talent in India and go uh, and you know they say that okay this person now Deloitte Canada has to submit all those files and documents to Service Canada to prove with proper recruitment effort and everything that they tried everything within Canada but they are unable to find the person and then they are able to get a foreign worker LMI application approved it is a long process not a short process I've just given you a bird eye view but yeah basically this is the main crux the second thing that uh, that I want to discuss today with my uh, YouTube viewers is that how companies get LMIA now what are the key factors that if you are a company maybe a small size miss size big size whatever size of the company you are and you want to go to Service Canada and get an LMI approved for a foreign worker the first thing very important is business legitimacy the genuineness of the company the active investment of the company what is the active role of the company now some of the problems that you can face at a later stage when the LMI officer is gonna give you interview uh, is gonna call you for an interview maybe call email whatever the first question they can ask you what are your recruitment efforts what have you done in terms of recruitment it is mandatory for you to run the advertisement for four weeks at least preceding the three weeks uh, three months of submission of LMI application in job bank so for example you have to register as an employee with job bank you have to run your advertisement there and other three four platforms so that recruitment part is very important now where you can get a problem in experience i can tell you when it comes to interview then the officer can say okay the median wage you posted at th that time was less than the median wage now how are you going to take about that median wage increase how are you going to pay it how are you going to pay it so that means you need to show active investments and financials of the company the company financials has to be really strong so it depends on the size structure of the company or what kind of LMIA you can do from that company. For example, a small size company may be just eligible for an admin or a supervisor position or a big size company can also hire double O knock positions which indirectly give the applicant 200 more points. So all in all, the size structure, the legitimacy of the company, the genuineness of the company will determine what kind of LMI application you can pull out of that company. Now the second thing that almost so many clients we have and they ask is that does this company need to be a brand new business of franchisee or it can be a business that we have already purchased which has good books and everything. Now see, nothing is conclusive of anything. It's just how your application 
application is presented it's just how your case is presented in front of that officer because that officer just has about 15 minutes for your file they don't have much time even though they write they can assess the high wage application in 10 business days but it is not so even the 10 business days have ex we have seen it exceeding to two months also in times of COVID because of the backlog so you be sure that the application that you are submitting in terms to the uh, this thing uh, to the ESDC office is well presented is properly documented chances are you might not get interview chances are you might get interview as an employer and hence you need to present everything in a manner which is uh, which is persuasive and which also says that okay this is my company and these are the uh, kind of efforts I've done everything on file is there one of the examples I can cite for you one of the uh, I know people who have bought businesses in Canada but have not been able to get out a legitimate position for themselves from the company. Businesses they have purchased are not less than 300,000, 400,000, 500,000. Still, those businesses have not been able to do a 200 knock LMIA for them. Whereas, I personally know startup businesses which have done double O knock as well. So, it's not about how you, how big your this thing is, how much money you've invested. They don't care. After all, for them, company is different and the person coming as an employee is different so these are separate entities the whole thing is about how you well document and present your company now let's dwell into one of the last phases of this YouTube video in which I'm gonna tell you that is LMIA conclusive that you will get work permit or PR come on you're paying so much for LMIAs in the market and I'm sure you have this uh, common myth in your mind that kya LMIA is conclusive is it even conclusive that I'm gonna get my work permit or PR well your doubt is real no it's not why because usually what people are doing and this is a very wrong trend these are these are things which people need to be made aware about because this is very serious issues wherein they have a different background the job they are getting is of a different background but just because they think that it is a document coming from the Canadian government it's authentic no that's not right it has to when the file goes from esdc and the work permit or pr file goes to ircc they will see that okay this job position was there this requirement of the job position during recruitment was there and this person doesn't even match this profile so your background is not matching your experience is not matching even though I will tell you there is a federal court judgment latest which says that IRCC has no right because, uh, to go into an employer's company's documents which ESDC, ESDC has already determined. So for example, if ESDC has already said, said that the company is legitimate, the IRCC should not should not they i have given directions but it is still may they should not get into that domain or territory which esdc has already dealt with so now if you understand holistically iscc is a different uh, the different uh, government department and it deals with work permits and pr so they but what they can do is they can check genuineness of the lmia for you keeping in mind that is your background experience certificates documents everything matching to the job you are applying for to the points you are claiming to the work permit that you're taking so make sure that everything is in line with each and everything that I said today in this video. I'm going to make more such content wherein you will get all the information and uh, knowledgeable information, awareness creating information because there is a lot of immigration fraud in the market. After all, it is residency, it is citizenship of another country. It's a big move that people make. I also understand the emotional connection that people have with that, the emotional turmoil they go through from migrating and it's a big decision. But make sure your file is handled by the right people with the right direction with the right experience because with Canada it's all about documents. Thank you.